But, monsieur. But, 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 but. Sound like a motorboat. Give me. Hello? What's that, sir? You've been up in your room three and a half hours and your trunks haven't arrived? Well, put your pants on. Nobody will know the difference. Out of the way, please. Sorry now. Clerk! Mr. Cornblow, to you. Have you a suite for me and my wife? Your wife, eh? Yes, and we'd like something very elegant. I see. Have you got any baggage? Of course. It's on its way over from the airfield. In all the years I've been in the hotel business, that's the phoniest story I've ever heard. I suppose your name is Smith. No, it's Smythe, spelled with a Y. Oh, that's the English version. Mr. and Mrs. Smythe and no baggage. What? How dare you, sir? How do you like that? Puts a Y in Smith and expects me to let him in the hotel with a strange name. Strange? <laughs> strange dame? She is to me. I've never seen her before. Sir, you may not be aware of it, but I am president of the Morocco Laundry Company. You are? Well, take this shirt and have it back Friday. Mr. Smythe, or Smith, this is a family hotel, and I suggest you take your business elsewhere. Sir, this lady is my wife. You should be ashamed. If this lady is your wife, you should be ashamed. You'll hear from me. Do that, even if it's only a postcard. Sir, my attorneys will be here in the morning. Yeah, well, they won't get a room either, unless they got a marriage license. Clerk. <laughs> 